Hey everybody, how's it going today? It's your pal Wes from Perfect Circuit and we are going to look at oscillator sync today. Before we get into it, let's just give a brief explanation of what oscillator sync is. So some oscillators have this wonderfully awesome sync jack here and what it does is it resets the phase of that oscillator to match the frequency of an incoming signal. So if you're sending a square wave into it, every time the square wave hits that rising edge, it's going to reset the follower oscillator and it's going to match the frequency. Now that can be a little bit hard to kind of wrap your head around just saying those words, so let's listen to it. So I've got a pair of Dixie 2 Pluses here, and they are excellent at generating and receiving sync. So let's grab a square wave from this Dixie number 2, we'll call it. This is going to be our follower, our sync receiver. And this Dixie on the left here is going to be, we'll call our Dixie 1, our Dixie leader. Now as we can see, we've got two waves here. If we turn them both up, coming from both these oscillators, they're not synced at all. They're all over the place and wild. So let's correct that. Let's change this to a saw wave and take our square wave and go like that. Beautiful harmony right away. <laughs> so now that this Dixie on the right is sunk to the Dixie on the left, we can start to send pitch information into this leftmost Dixie and create some cool sounds. Now those sounds are pretty nice and it's really nifty to have two oscillators kind of singing together. You can mix different waves that you might not have on one with another and you know keep that nice frequency range. But super sick sync waves come from absolutely messing with the follower oscillator. If you send a little bit of pitch information into this oscillator, you'll start to kind of shoot its oscillator all sorts of different ways and it's going to try really hard to maintain sync. And this sounds awesome. Let's take a quick listen here. We're going to throw this LFO just right into the FM input of our follower oscillator here, right? So here it is. So that's a very awesome sound. It's very fun and pretty familiar. You've probably heard it all over the place. It's super sick. So let's get a little patch going that puts that sound in the spotlight and let's see how we do it. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to grab a gate out from our key step here or your sequencer. It can be whatever you want. And we're going to throw it into an envelope here. We're going to use maths and we're going to grab that envelope and we're going to put it into the FM input of our follower oscillator here. So our oscillator that's been sunk from our leader oscillator here, right? So let's do that. And we've got a little sequence running. So I will, I'll turn down the FM input and we'll turn it up to kind of to taste as we listen here. So let's check out our sequence. And let's bring in our envelope. Alright, so those are much more excellent sounding super sick sync waves. But I'm not going to leave you with just that because there's a few other tricks that we can pull to really get even more harmonically rich and beefy sounds out of this sync oscillator setup. So let's get a filter in the mix here. 
This Expert Sleepers Evo is right here, and it's absolutely perfect for what we want to do. So we'll go in there, and then we'll come out, and we'll go right back into our Tangle Quartet VCA here. And let's take a listen to how this sounds now, right? It sounds pretty cool. Sounds like a filtered version of what we were just listening to. Let's give it a little bit of envelope here. And then let's take the subwave output from our leader oscillator and also go into the cutoff here and bring it up to taste once again. So that's just a quick look at generating some super sick sync synth waves. Say that five times fast, it's not as easy as it sounds. There are a ton of other tricks here. We only listen to square waves today. We got six other waves we could play around with. Let us know what your favorite kind of waves are down in the comments. Make sure to like, subscribe, and we're gonna catch you on the next video, okay? Cause you liked and subscribed already. You don't need another reminder to like and subscribe.